I'm not doing that great. My girlfriend just stopped taking her birth control. Yeah. <laughs> she thinks that since she stopped taking her birth control, it's caused her to gain weight. I think it's all the cake I've been hiding her pill in. <laughs> He's a complete moron. Like, don't look at me, he's not my kid. <laughs> Talk to his dad already. <laughs> I don't have anything. You can't have kids when you don't have anything. I have two things. I have credit card debt and my friend's Netflix password. Those are the two things I have. <laughs> and it's not even his, it's like his cousins or whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's only 10 Netflix logins out there <laughs> that we're using. If you have your own, you're in the Illuminati. That's what that means. <laughs> Sick of men with stuff. I'm getting so sick of men with like middle-aged guys with families and houses. Ugh, go away already. <laughs> guys like that, as I've been doing stand-up longer and longer, they started to ask me how much money I make, which is a real question. It used to bother me, doesn't bother anybody anymore. Because I know why they're doing it. They're doing it because they want to hear that I'm struggling. So they can feel better about the soul-sucking sales job that they devoted their lives to. <laughs> and the woman they married that they don't like. And the baby they had with that woman that they barely liked. But you can't put that on me. You can't fill the hole in your soul with my problems, okay? Just because I chose to take a different path, take a chance, live with some gamble, which used to be the most American thing you could do as a man, by the way. Taking a chance, taking a gamble. You used to shove your whole family into a wagon and head out west in the search for gold. <laughs> yeah, two of your kids would die of dysentery. Your wife would get trampled by a buffalo, but at least... At least you can call yourself a man! <laughs> no, now it's my 401k and my health insurance plan. I don't have health insurance, okay? I don't need it. I got car insurance. If I get sick, I'll get into a car accident. <laughs> so if somebody T-bones me, ha ha! You broke my leg and gave your testicular cancer! <laughs> jobs for me out there. There's no jobs for me, man. There's nothing. My calling, I can't do it anymore. It doesn't even exist anymore. My calling, Civil War General. That's what I should have been. I should have been a Civil War General. I would have been the greatest Civil War General of all time. I would have won every battle. I just went to my troops before every battle. I was like, hey, fellas, this time, let's hide behind some stuff. <laughs> Fight like idiots in the Civil War, they just get big lines like 50 feet apart and shoot each other in the face for like four straight days, and then they would march the next battle blowing into trumpets and pounding on drums. Because they hated surprises, apparently. <laughs>